everyone, it's me Vanessa. I wanna make a weekly update because I need to, really badly. Uh, this past week has been not the best as far as eating. I felt like a bottomless pit and this seems to happen every other month. So it happened in February and it also happened again in December to where I just cannot control my hunger and I want to eat, 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 and eat and eat and eat. Um, so this past week has been one of those weeks. It's right before that time of the month and I notice it doesn't happen every single month, but it does happen every other month. Um, and maybe it's also when I change my routine. So I did change my routine in the past two weeks. So I am changing things, maybe that, I don't know. But anyway, it wasn't the best. My eating was not the best this weekend. Uh, I plan to change that for next week, kind of figure things out. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but today's weigh-in, I'm sitting at 152. I have not been that high since February. So my goal is to get right back down below 150 and to focus on just eating healthy and taking care of myself this week. Um, now, in the past, I have stuck with Saturday as a treat day. And one problem I was finding with Saturdays was that because it was centered around one day, I felt like I needed to eat all of the things in that one day because I wouldn't have it on Sunday and the rest of the week. So what I'm gonna try to do is this week, I'm going to focus on using Saturday and Sunday as eating whatever I want, balance with healthy and the fun stuff, um, and then focus on, because I have two days, I don't have to have it all in one day. I can spread it out and figure out a way to eat healthy majority of the time and still enjoy those fun things here and there, um, but don't have like a whole day of snacking every hour, which is pretty much what I did this past weekend. I was eating a lot and obviously I'm up in weight. So my goal is just to change, make those little tweaks and change a few things to where I can maintain under 150 and find that happy balance uh, between the weekends. Because Friday, I mean, Monday through Friday, I do really well. Fridays I have a donut and I still get back on plan with eating healthy for dinner. So I've got those days down. It's the weekends. The weekends are my hardest um, and I, I need to figure something out for long term. Uh, something that's gonna work for me all the time, especially on times like this to where I do feel like a bottomless pit and I wanna focus on how do I change things to where I maintain closer to 145 instead of closer to 150 to where I don't ever go back above 150. So that is my goal um, and things are going well there. Um, I will be making an update next week about creatine. I have been taking creatine almost for a month now so I wanna um, do kind of like a review on it and how it's helped and if it hasn't helped, that type of thing. So that's what next week's content is gonna be about. Uh, but today I wanna talk about self-care. Self-care is something that I struggle with doing. I, I am not one of those people who takes regular baths and does all the spa things. I don't, my nails, my nails look awful. I, I, I'm terrible, I am terrible with self-care. So uh, that is one of the goals that I do have for 2020 is to focus on that. And I want to share kind of like what I've done this past week that was really nice. Um, I've been every single day using some kind of lotion and eye cream. I even did the little patches that you put under the eyes. Uh, I get ipsy. So there was one of my bags where I got two packs of eye, eye patch things and I've never used them. Like, and they're over a year old and I still have never used it until last week uh, when I'm stuck in the house, of course. I'm like, well, let me try these. You guys, they felt amazing, amazing. So I plan to do that once a week, do some kind of like face mask or something like that, and then just continue taking care of my skin, start taking care of my nails. My hands are super dry, so I need to use some type of lotion. Um, but self-care can also be other things that doesn't have to deal with hygiene or the way you look. Um, it can also be mentally how you feel. I know meditation is something that's very helpful for some. Um, yoga, flexibility training, that type of thing. Uh, reading is a huge self-care um, goal of mine. I enjoy reading and so that's something that I allow myself to do daily that I 
find that does help mentally. Um, watching a great TV show or a movie, um, that's also a great way to have self-care. Um, getting yourself a new outfit, if you haven't had one for a long time, to where you feel good. Uh, getting a haircut, these little things. Little things that you can do to help make yourself feel better and also in a way of taking care of yourself. Also taking naps or doing some type of relaxation, um, massages or so, you know something like that. So my goal, like I said, is to really start to take care of myself and focus on that. I know my water intake has been really bad, so I upped my water to 100 ounces a day. Um, sleeping, sleeping is something that I will sometimes get four or five hours a night. Other times when I try to catch up, I get around like eight to 10 hours. So I want to focus on getting a regular schedule of sleep between like seven and eight hours each night. Um, and then of course, taking care of myself, continue reading, that type of thing. So I just want to share that, you know, self-care, you guys, is so important. It's so important to take care of ourselves. And during this time, like where we're stuck in our homes, this is the most important time to take care of yourself because a lot of people say, ah, uh, I snack all the time and I'm gonna gain weight. They just, in their mind, they think, okay, because I'm stuck at home, I might as well just eat whatever I want and then it's just normal to gain weight. But that can be a trap. So don't do it, take care of yourself. Don't allow yourself to use this as an excuse to gain weight and not to be active and healthy. Uh, use this time to actually focus on taking care of yourself. Use this time that we're stuck at home to do things at home that can help your, your health. You know, you can do, there's so many videos online on YouTube. Um, I use Beachbody. There's workouts you can do at home. You don't need equipment. You can use body weight. You can do anything at home. Um, going outside to take a walk or like I do running is also great because you're still away from people and it's free. <laughs> the outside is free. So take advantage of it. Do something for you. Still take care of yourself. Uh, don't buy a lot of junk food. Keep healthy food in your home because if it's there, you're going to eat it. So if you struggle with that, where you want to snack all day, set up a schedule of eating. Tell yourself, okay, I'm only gonna eat every two hours or three hours. If it's before that, say, let me have some water, let me take care of myself, and let me do an activity that my hands will be busy. Um, if there's like an art project that you would like to do, focus on that during that time that you can't eat. And then have a schedule, a set schedule for all your meals Eat healthy, eat a well-balanced meal. Um, make sure you have your lean protein, your healthy fats, your fruits, your vegetables, uh, other healthy carbs. Have a good, healthy meal, and then you're gonna stay full longer, and that's gonna extend you to about two to three hours when you can eat again. So instead of focusing on what you can't have, focus on what you can have. Healthy food is amazing for us, so why not eat that, right? And then if you do want that piece of chocolate, have that piece of chocolate and then move on, get back to healthy eating. So use this time to take care of yourself. Don't use it as an excuse, all right? Because when all this is over, because you've already established healthy habits and, and you've been doing healthy things, it's gonna be easier to transition into continuing those things than starting all over and having to figure out how you're going to be motivated uh, to get moving again and do what you need to do when everything goes back to normal. So, like I said, take care of yourself. I will include a link below of the group I have currently going for this time uh, as a daily check-in for motivation and support uh, because we can do this. We can so do this. And I will get back under 150. But you guys take care. Like I said, next week I'll do the creatine um, video about how everything's going with that. And then the week after, I think I'm going to finally do what I eat in a day uh, because I haven't updated my uh, three-year post-op what I eat in a day video yet. So you guys enjoy your week and I will see you next Monday. Bye for now.